ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு எல்ட்ரா பிக்சல்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஏ தேர்ட்டி டூ இன் சாம்சங் எல்இடி டிவி ஹியர் த கம்ப்ளைண்ட் இஸ் வித் தி பேனல் ஹியூ யூ கேன் சி த பேக்லைட் இஸ் ஓகே ஸோ லெட் இஸ் செக் தி பேனல் ஹியூ யூ கேன் சி த பேக்லைட் கிளியர்லி ஸோ இட்ஸ் கன்ஃபார்ம் தட் த கம்ப்ளைண்ட் இஸ் வித் தி பேனல் ஓர் மேபி தி வித் தி மதர் போர்ட் திஸ் இஸ் தி மாடல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் தி டிவி யூஏ தேர்ட்டி டூ ஹெச் ஃபோர் தௌசண்ட் ஏஆர் திஸ் இஸ் தி மாடல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் தி எல்இடி டிவி ஸோ வி ரிமூவ் தி பேக் கவர் பிஃபோர் ஸ்டார்டிங் டயக்னோசிங் தி பேனல் லெட்ஸ் ரிமூவ் தி ஸ்பீக்கர்ஸ் ஃபார் ஈஸி செக்கிங் இஸ் இ தேர்ட்டி டூ இன்ச் ஷார்ப் பேனல் ஹிர் விசி ஏ தேர்ட்டி டூ இன்ச் ஷார்ப் பேனல் So these are the main connections 3.3 volt VGH AVDD points here we can check the panel VCC 12 volt on the panel fuse it's a sharp panel this is the model number CUI HH032 so this is the panel fuse so first check the panel VCC 12 volt is ok or not This is the VGH point DC to DC IC. This is the gamma IC. So let's turn on the TV and check the basic panel voltages is available or not. Now the TV is turned on. Now let's check the 12 volt panel VCC is present or not in the panel scalar board. Now we connected the meter knob to the ground. Now let's check the panel voltages. Now we place the meter. Now let's check the panel VCC first. This is the panel fuse. Let's check the panel VCC 12 volt is present or not. Now we connected the knob. Let's check. See the panel 12 volt VCC is okay. So the panel supply is okay. Now let's check the DC to DC IC is working or not by confirming whether the basic voltages are present. Now let's check the VGH voltage. You can see that if the VGH voltage is missing. Now let's check the VCOM voltage. See VCOM voltage is also missing. Now let's check the 3.3 VGL voltage. see vgl voltage is also missing from the panel scalar pcb this is the causing issue let's check the 3.3 voltage 3.3 this is it see now there is no voltage present in this section so the dc to dc ic section is not working before confirming that the complaint is with the dc to dc ic let's check the voltages by removing the left side ffc cable and check whether the voltage is present or not this is the vgh point so instead of confirming that the problem is with the dc to dc ic uh, let's confirm it by removing the left side ffc cable whether the voltage is producing or not so let's check the basic voltages after removing the left side ffc cable from the panel scalar pcb so now let's turn off the tv 
and remove the left side ribbon from the TV. See now we removed the left side PCB left side ribbon from the TV panel scalar PCB. Now again let's turn on the TV and check whether the voltages are working working voltages are okay or not to confirm that the DC to DC IC is working perfectly. So now the left side FFC cable is removed. First check the basic voltages. Let's start with the 3.3 voltage. See now the 3.3 voltage is present. Now let's check the VCOM VGH voltage. This is the VGH test point. Now let's check the VGH voltage in meter. See the VGH voltage 34 volt VGH voltage is also present. So it's confirmed that uh, the DC to DC IC is working. Here you can see the VCOM voltage is also present. So from this diagnosing we found that issue with the left side scalar PCB of the panel. So the DC to DC IC section is working. And the confirmed that the problem is related to the problem is related to the left side scalar PCB of the panel. So there are many reasons for this issue. One issue may be the bad cough. Here I found that one of the SMD electrolyte capacitor is short. And that capacity is uh, makes buzzer sound sound in the buzzer mode. See, you can see the first capacitor shows shorting in both sides with the ground. See, it's it sh says shorting in both sides. So I think the problem may be with this PF. So this PF is short it inside the panel scalar PCB. So you see clearly we can see clearly this capacitor is short and making buzzer sound and it's short to the ground from both sides. So let's remove the capacitor for that apply lead on the side to remove it so by applying heat we are going to remove the shorting capacitor SMD capacitor PF from the panel, left side panel scalar PCB because it shorts in both sides in the ground So now let's remove it. We removed it now. Now we remove the capacitor. See now the capacitor is removed. Now let's check with the meter whether the shorting is removed or not. See now the shorting is removed. So we connected back to we connected the uh, left side FFC cable back to the scalar PCB. 
see there is no shorting on the other capacitors so it's not uh, compulsory to replace the faulty capacitor with another one if you have scalar same scalar pcb uh, of any broken panel then you can replace it with the uh, from that otherwise leave it so now we connected the ffc cable back to the scale panel scalar pcb from left, uh, left side so now let's again turn on the tv and check the basic panel voltage if still shorting is there then the problem with maybe with the cough so now let's check the voltage whether the dc to dc ic is going to protection mode or not let's check it with the 3.3 .3 voltage on the meter see the 3.3 .3 voltage is present so the shorting from the left side scalar pcb is completely removed and the dc to dc ic starting function properly you can see the vgh voltage 34 volt is present the vcom voltage is 7.2 voltage is also there so now the dc to dc ic started functioning properly so the problem is with the left side scalar pcb is sold successfully so the that shorting capacitor is uh, is is the problem uh, which is causing the issue now we removed the shorted capacitor from the scalar pcb now let's check the tv picture is okay or not i am 100 percent sure that now the picture is okay so now let's pick up the tv and check the picture is okay or not see now the picture is perfectly okay you can see the no signal on the screen now the tv works fine see now the complaint is solved successfully the panel is repaired successfully and the tv is working fine if you have same pcb scalar pcb of a broken panel then you can replace the shorter capacitor with that otherwise leave it like uh, as i shown here remove it and leave it so now the tv working is uh, working fine now the panel issue is successfully solved so if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications see you in next video with another interesting topics see there is no shorting now it's working fine confirmed and the repairing successful see you in next video thanks for watching